Hey, what's Mayo? It's February. It's the month of love, everybody. For the entire month of February, I've only been covering love-related topics, and today's topic is frequently asked questions about love. We're talking about manifesting love, soulmates, twin flames, lots of fun stuff. Over the years, I have had these topics come up so much. Not only is love one of my top readings in my spiritual business, these topics come up all the time in friendships and social circles, and people send me these questions personally. So I thought, let's just toss all these together and address it in a video, and I'm excited for this. I think this is really fun. Love is my fucking favorite thing in the entire universe. Sorry for swearing, I'm excited. <laughs> Love is my favorite thing. I watch only romance and romantic comedies. I really only read romance. I write romance. I breathe and live for love. So I'm so here for this. I have noticed that everybody seems to wonder about these things. Can I manifest love? Can I manifest my ideal love? Are soulmates real? Is there only one soulmate out there for me? Are twin flames real? What are twin flames? How do twin flames differ from soulmates? I am excited to dig into these. I'm hoping you guys are excited too. I love love. I hope you do too. <laughs> to preface the rest of this video, you know, obviously opinions vary. So feel free to form your own opinions. I totally don't judge if anyone believes differently. This is my perspective, my opinions, and my knowledge from, you know, studying spirituality my whole life, being a really spiritual person for lifetimes and, you know, that's just that, right? I am a big lover of love, so let's get into it. Yes, you can manifest love and you can manifest your ideal love. There are a lot of ways that you can go about manifesting love and the law of attraction is one of those ways. That's actually the way I would most highly suggest to go about manifesting love. Spells are also another way. Yes, spell casting is a thing. It runs in the line of manifestation. Spell casting is an option. I do not really suggest it because I think a lot of people approach love spell casting from this angle of I choose this specific person, like someone I know, my friend Joey. <laughs> Joey's gonna fall in love with me because I'm gonna put a spell on him. That is manipulation, my friends. That's not manifestation. If you're choosing a specific person and you are bringing out a specific emotion in them, you're actually manipulating them and it's not actually necessarily genuine. If you are manifesting, I want this specific type of love to come to me, you're calling someone in, but not necessarily a specific person. This person will come to you willingly, wanting to, rather than, Ayo, Joey, love me. <laughs> So like I said, the law of attraction is magnetically attracting a person to you who fits what you're looking for versus that type of spell casting is more so manipulating a specific person who you already have in mind to feel a specific way about you. I personally have encountered some very, very toxic love spells in my time of working as a spiritual person and um, yeah, that's why I caution. The reason that I'm not for, sorry for talking with my hands so much, the reason that I'm not for manipulating a specific person to feel a specific way is one, like I said, there is uh, karma or butterflies effects, there will be things that happen from that. Two, it's not really kind to manipulate a person to feel a way that you want them to, but not necessarily that they want to feel that way. Three, you should never have to make someone love you. Hear me again. You should never have to make someone love you. Someone should want to love you. They should be happy and willing and just loving to love you. Don't make someone love you who doesn't want to love you. Don't force someone to stick around. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Yes, soulmates are real, but no, there is not only one soulmate for you out there. Fairy tales have very obviously, and for a very long time, cast this idea that there is only one true love. Ooh, one true love. <laughs> That's just not real. There's not just one love for you out there in the entire universe. That's berserk. That's bananas. <laughs> no. The way that our society has been built has been this idea of you marry once, you marry one person, you choose your person, you stay with them forever. And if you break that social norm, it's still really frowned upon, whether that means you divorced or just found someone else or whatever. 
If you break that social norm, if you didn't choose a person and stuck with them till you died, society is not exactly the most accepting of that. The reality is, is that society has far underestimated love, period. Love does not end just because death separates two souls. Love does not end just because time and space and distance separate two souls. We are capable of loving infinitely to no ends because love is something that's not limited. You can love all things at once, all souls at once, but that's not something that we're really taught in society, right? Also, there are all kinds of love. The Greeks actually had like seven words for love and that was more of the right idea because love is so diverse. There's so many different types of love and so many different angles of love. And the Greeks kind of understood that. They're like, love is so diverse. Like, we need more words than just one. <laughs> to come back around to the soulmate question, soulmates are two different souls who have very harmonious and deeply palpably connected energy. But we also have so many types of love that you can have so many different types of soulmates. Soul family, soul friends, soul animal acquaintances, soul romantic partners, past life soul romantic partners, future soulmates, because time is also really vast. Now, let's fast forward to the next question. <laughs> yes, twin flames are real. <laughs> twin flames are best explained by imagining identical twins. Two souls born at once who are mirrored images of each other. They are two different souls and technically they're not exactly the same, but they're really, really similar and they burn from the same flame. They were born of the same ember, basically. In theory, you only have one twin flame in the entire universe and it's unlikely that you would cross paths in every single lifetime. So how do twin flames and soulmates differ? What's the difference? First and foremost, neither is better or worse than the other. I think a lot of people get hung up on this idea that one is stronger than the other or one is better than the other. But bottom line is be with someone who is healthy for you. Be with someone who makes you happy. Bottom line. <laughs> Soulmates and twin flames I would say differ most because you have one twin flame in the universe and you have tons of different types of soulmates. How to identify a twin flame versus a soulmate would be a topic for another day. I'm going to make a separate video that will be coming out next week. I will dissect the topic of twin flames versus soulmates just a little bit more. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. There's so much freaking love out there, my friends. So, so much. I think there's a lot of people out there who are afraid that they'll never find love. And I think that that fear is a big reason why a lot of people end up staying in a place where they're not really happy because they fear that they'll never find anything better somewhere else. <laughs> there's so much love out there. There's no need to stay somewhere you're unhappy just out of fear that you can't find something that does make you happy. You can. There will be things out there that make you happy. You can totally find love. I have had so many people ask me, is there another love out there for me? Is there someone who I could be more in love with or happier with? And again, I think this really roots back to this old concept of, I gotta find my one true love. <laughs> gotta find my one person that's out there for me. And these fears of what if I don't find anything better? Like what if this is my one true love and I, leave them to go be with someone else and then I miss out on that and then I have nothing. There's endless love in the universe though, endless. There are so many possibilities and we live in a universe of free will. You have a choice and you have options. You can find other types of love out there. Fact, no matter who you are or who you with, you can find love with someone else. It'll just be different. And something that I really want to stress is that I don't think we should be thinking about love in the terms of better or worse. We have way too many habits in the world of thinking of things as better and worse. I would suggest more so to focus on if you're happy, if you feel safe, if you feel supported, if it feels healthy, if you feel loved. Don't overcomplicate things too much. You know, if you're happy and you're loved and it's healthy and it uplifts your life and pushes you forward in a great direction, then enjoy it and embrace that, right? If you're not happy and you don't feel loved, then keep searching because there are so many other options out there and there's so much love out there that you could be experiencing and you can find that if you just have the courage to keep looking somewhere else. 
and something that I really want to stress and encourage again to the people who don't feel loved and they don't feel happy or they feel like they haven't found the right thing yet. You can find love and you will. So don't give up on that. That's today's video. That is my rant on love today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are curious to hear more about the difference between soulmates and twin flames, then check back for next week's video. Be sure to give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to come back for more. If you have any questions, comments, or video topic requests, you can always leave it in the comments below my videos. All of my social media links, my blogs, my businesses, and everything is always linked underneath my videos. <sighs> Sending you guys so much love in this beautiful February day. Classic mayo. <laughs> Excuse me while I take this phone call. Hello. It is what it is. You said send it and I said send it. <laughs> I'm in the middle of filming a video. <laughs> You're not on speaker. I'll put you on speaker. And Alrighty. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to filming. Okay, funny thing though, uh there's this truck in front of me that's very dusty and someone wrote honk if you're horny <laughs> okay love you love you bye bye sorry for that brief intermission <laughs>